Hi, I'm Tam. I'm going to show you how to make a um, wrap bracelet with jump rings or washers or any kind of um, washer type hardware. So these I actually got from the hardware store. These are actual jump rings from the um, jewelry supply. So you can actually use anything as long as it has a hole in it that your string will go through. So basically it's a braided bracelet and you wear it like this. It's another like fun summer bracelet. So this is what it looks like. And on the sample, I'm going to show you with three, two different color cords so that you can sort of see the braiding. Um, so these, this is three pieces of one yard of any cord. So it can be wax cotton cord, which is what I'm using, or it can be leather. And you are going to just lay them like this. I'm going to do the green, the olive green in the middle with the blue on the side. And I'm going to make a knot about four inches down from the, at the ends. And once again, to make a nice knot, I, I keep everything parallel as I make the knot. That gives you a nice, nice neat knot. I'm just gonna pull each one and tighten. So then it looks like that. So then I'm going to, for this you'll probably need a clipboard just to hold it while you're braiding the cord. So basically, this is just like braiding hair, but for those who don't know how to braid hair, you have three strands and you're always going to bring one over, the, so the left side over to the middle and that becomes the middle, and then the right side, so you just, all, whichever one that you bring to the middle becomes the middle cord. And then you just bring each side over. So you separate the three strands and we're gonna take the left strand over the center strand. So the left strand is now your center strand. And then you're gonna take your right strand over your new center strand. So basically it's just moving from one side to the middle and then the other side to the middle. And then it's up to you if you want a tighter braid or a looser braid. That's totally up to you and depends on your um, design. It's just a little hard to manipulate because you gotta hold everything down. You can start, you can do something with a lot of washers or just a few washers. So these are from the hardware store, so the more you put on it's a little heavy, there's zinc. So for something like this, I probably wouldn't use that many just because they would be really heavy. Okay, so now I'm gonna start adding my first washer. So I'm going to add to, I'm gonna to add to the right side, I'm going to add the washer. And then I'm going to bring it over to the middle. Then I'm going to add a washer to the left side. So here's the tricky part. You want to make sure that they're uh, face, you know, they're all going in the same direction, the washers. And then I'm going to bring that to the middle. So you see how they're like this? That's what you want. You want them to look stacked. You know, like you can see here, they're all stacked in a row. So then I brought that left side into the middle. And now I'm going to add another washer. So you want to make sure again that it's going to be stacked up. Okay, so we're just continuing braiding and I'm going to add just one more. And then I'm going to continue braiding without the washers. And now because I'm getting to the bottom of the clipboard and I need more of a grip, I'm just going to move 
the whole unit up on the clipboard so that we get a better grip on the whole thing. And then we just continue braiding. You can um, decide to leave like a longer fringe and add little beads on them. That's one of your options. So then you would stop braiding earlier. And then we're gonna stop it right here for now. And then you wanna just kind of straighten it by pulling it a little bit just to loose, make, just to make the tension all even. And then you see how your washers are all nicely stacked. Just make a knot. Okay. And then this so then you should just tie it here. And I think this style sort of works well with these um dangles, so that's why I didn't do the closure could use, you know, three different color cord, all the same color cord, so it looks like this. This one I did graduated jump rings, so they're large, medium to small, or all the same size. 